Hi, welcome to the Destin Business Forum, brought to you by the Destin Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm your host, Amy Perry, and our guests today are with the American Cancer Society Relay for Life. Um, Jean Grieve, you are the event lead. Yes, ma'am. And Heather Pike, you are the marketing lead. All right, so for those who don't know, um, I've heard of it, but I don't know in detail everything about Relay for Life. Tell us all about that. Well, Relay for Life is a local community grassroots movement where we raise money for the American Cancer Society and uh, an endeavor to um, raise money for research and try to end the fight against cancer. That is our main cause. I'm always interested in why people get involved in the things they get involved in, whether it's a business or a nonprofit. Jean, tell me why you wanted to get involved in this organization. I originally got involved back in 2007 after I moved to Florida, and we all know somebody who's been touched by cancer. Mm -hmm. And I started out being involved with my company, and then I involved, got more involved in from a leadership role, and now I've been the event lead for the last several years. And I have a brother who is stage four. Um, yeah, I just found out my mom had, well, a couple years ago, I found out my mom had cancer too. So, Heather, why did you get involved? Um, I got involved. My grandmother was diagnosed with breast cancer um, two years ago, so she's continuing her battle there. And then I actually have a cousin that's fighting uh, leukemia right now as well. So um, it's definitely a family personal thing. And then several friends um, and family members that have passed away or are fighting it as well. Yeah, it's, um, it's a great thing that you guys are doing. And I hear that you, uh, this organization here in Okaloosa County, raises a lot of money. Tell me about that. Yes, we do. In fact, Okaloosa County has been um, honored with being um, the t in the top 10 in the nation for dollars raised per capita for the last four years. So wow. Okaloosa County does a lot for the American Cancer Society. And, and what do you attribute that to? Do you think it's just we have a very loving community or what? I think so. I think everybody pulls together. We have a number of other relays that are here in the panhandle, but we all, you know, we all unite and, you know, we have a little bit of camaraderie, but a little bit of competition at the same time. But I think in the end, we all come together and we fight for the same cause. Okay. So tell me this Relay for Life this year, you've got a um, pretty cool slogan. Tell me what that is. Our slogan is back to the beginning, 30 years strong. Uh, throwback to 1985, and we're doing it in honor of Dr. Gordy Klatt, our founder, um, who started Relay in 1985. He was one man with a vision who wanted to raise money for the American Cancer Society, and um, he passed away last year, unfortunately, from cancer, so we wanted to honor him. Wow, what and a nice thing. So, um, you see that t-shirt in front of you. All right, we're going to pick this up. I like this, I love the colors. And our actual experience lead and MC, Johnny C, designed that logo, and there's a silhouette of Dr. Gordy in the middle. And in 1985, he started Relay, and he, he ran around the track, for the most part, for 24 hours, wow. and raised $27,000, and Relay for Life has become what it is today, and it raises, has raised over $5 billion in 30 years. Wow, that's a lot of money. Just um, people, people really getting behind it. Okay, this year, when is it and where is it? Um, this year, it's May 15th and 16th at Dustin Middle School. Um, we'll kick off at 6 p.m. and at 6 a.m. Um, we invite the public to come out and join us. Um, there's going to be lots of different um, co contests, fundraising availability as well, and it's just a great atmosphere for people to come out. Um, we've got survivors that will come out and do a lap. We've got our luminaries that we light up at 9 o'clock um, and have a moment of silence um, for everybody that has passed or that is fighting. Um, the public can buy luminaries and set them around the track and walk that lap and donate some time and money as well to honor um, family members or friends that they know. It's just a really great community event. It sounds like a, a festive atmosphere for something that usually is not that festive, right? Yeah, I think it, it brings together a lot of people in support. Um, there's cancer survivors, there's caretakers, um, and there's also people battling cancer that will be out at this event. And it's a great way to show them um, and their families that there is a community and there is support behind them. And they're not alone. And Correct. Um, okay, I saw something that interested me. It was the Road to Recovery Limo Contest. Tell me what that is. Um, each of the teams that choose to participate, they, the rules are they have to take a cardboard box and create a limo. And it's supposed to mimic our Road to Recovery program that's available to anybody locally who cannot afford to 
get to and from their um, cancer treatments or doctor's appointments, and it's a program that's free to them and available to them through the American Cancer Society. So we have a little bit of fun with that, and uh, we have limo races in, in honor of that program to let people know that their local dollars do go toward that program. I had no idea that something like that um, existed. I think that's such a such a great thing. I was asking you before we started the show, if somebody has recently gotten a cancer diagnosis, and I ask if they were alone, but even if they're not alone here, if they have family, what do, is there a website they can go to, Facebook page, telephone number they can call to just get some, like, you know, starting off information? All right, you've been diagnosed, so... The, the best resource is the 1-800 number, which is 1-800-227-2345. And there is a plethora of information available. You will always get a body. You will not get through some mnemonic system that takes you through, you know. Recorded information. Recorded information. You will talk to a body and they will get you the right information that you need for your particular area and mm -hmm. what local resources are available for you. They will get you counseling. They will get you whatever you need. That is just 24 a, hours a day. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Tell me that phone number again. I know they're going to put it up on screen, but it's 1-800-227-2345. Okay. And you do have a Facebook page as well? Uh, yes, yeah. we do. It's the Emerald Coast Relay for Life. All right. And you brought this lovely hope sign. Tell me, I mean, that's just to tell everybody that there is hope, right? Exactly. All right. Um, we hope that there is a cure out there. We hope and pray every day, and that's why we do what we do. All right. I heard somebody say, just because they say something is incurable, that just means they haven't found a cure yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? All right. Our time is almost up, but have I left out anything? Except this really cool hat that I am going to put on. And it says hope. <laughs> and can you buy these hats? Uh, no, those are actually um, special hats for some of our volunteers, but there will be other things available for sale out at the venue and the t-shirts are for sale the t-shirts are for sale, are for sale. that's a um, fundraiser for our relay and we want to encourage everybody to come out on may 15th you can still form a team you can continue yep. to fundraise and we want to see you there and if somebody can't fundraise let's say they feel awkward asking their friends for money they can themselves donate money correct they can donate their time mm -hmm. by being a volunteer out Absolutely. there all right so it sounds like there is something for everybody. I'm going to take this off. Um, thank you, ladies. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Um, come back, okay, next year. Thanks for having Thanks. us. We'll be back.